Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be carrying on with the van. I did forget to record an intro at the garage, so hence why I'm doing it now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We've now cleaned up the sump that's ready to go back on we've uh we've cleared that as best we can um there's a little like groove in there so it's hard to get all that out i'm going to clean that up a little bit more if we just have a look under here that's all ready to to go back on now there it's all clean all as it should be so we're going to get the the sump on next and then we can start putting it all back together. All right, so the sump's now back on. Um, now what we're gonna do, I think, we're gonna, um, let me just turn that radio down. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna get the turbo on next, before we get the cat in, it's just easier to work before that goes in. I'll just show you this. Um, we've cleaned up the, Um, Lambda sensors, so they're all, all done, so they're ready to go back on. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna make a start getting that on, and then I'll come back in once it's in place and take it from there. Little, uh, little slit there, so I might have to trim that back, see how we get on. Turbo's now in place. We've got the oil pickup pipe on. That's all tightened up. It goes down there somewhere. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave a little bit off of that. While I'm here, I'll get the new oil filter in. Just show you where that is. So as you can see, it's the old one. And there we have a brand new one. So we'll get that put in now. I'll connect the, the intercooler pipe up. Um, and get the, get the decat, get the catalytic converter put back in. Get that tightened up. Okay, so the turbo's now on, everything's bolted up. Just in the process of putting the catalytic converter back on. I've attached it there. Just got to reattach it, put the uh, clamp back on there. And um, once that's done, then what I can do, oh, and there's, I'm sure that's supposed to go on with your filter. So I need to, to whip that back off, put that back on. There's something else. Put, put the uh, amber sensors back in. Make sure everything's bolted up, clipped in, etc. Stick some oil in it, and then, yeah, hopefully it will start. <laughs> oh, I've never been so nervous about starting a vehicle, to be honest. It's been a lot of work. I don't expect it to. I don't expect this smoke to go away straight away because obviously you've got the 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 oil in the exhaust system still, so I have to burn off. So. Plan is to obviously start it up, make sure it all all runs as it should, um, and then take it around the block, just drive it for a little bit, and fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But anyway, right, I'm going to get this um, get this all bolted up, um, and then we can look to get get some oil back in it. We're getting ever so closer to getting this van started. The Catalytic converter is now on, now bolted up. All I've got left to do is to put the uh, Lambda sensors back in. I've still got to fit this gearbox bracket, so I'm gonna get that on next. Get that on, get the Lambda sensors on, uh, tighten up the sump plug. Um, the exhaust is all, all bolted up. 
get the get that where's that gone get that back, put back on and then we can put some oil in it so yeah getting closer and closer to getting it started what I want to do is I want to be able to drive it out today um, let it run <sighs> <laughs> I'm pretty nervous to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just hope that it pays off all this work. Whilst I'm here, I just thought I'd show you what I'm up to at the moment. Um, if you remember in a previous video, uh, when we started the van up, the glow plug light didn't go out and it stayed on for a little bit and then went out when the van was running. When I got the turbo looked at, I did mention that to the mechanic and he said uh, just change the glow plugs. So as you can see, these are the old ones. We've got four new ones to replace it with um i've never done these before so i don't really know what i'm what i'm looking for signs of you know a 40 glow plug but we've got four new ones so we're going to get them changed it's a bit of a nightmare I, I should have done it when the turbo was off the holes where are they right there's one that goes down there you can't really see it but one goes there one goes there so yeah a bit of a nightmare to get out so we get the new ones in and then I'll come back um, and then it's literally just a case of filling it up with oil, getting the, uh, the airbox back on and yeah, I think we're ready to, to fire her up. There we have it all back together, barring the heat shield on the turbo, I'm going to put that on once it's all started up. What I'm going to do is jack it down, top it up with some oil and then fingers crossed. Need to have a good tidy up as well of all the tools. Come around here. Yeah. Put you in there. As you can see, we need a good tidy up. It's all tidy again. Look at that. Right, um, what I'm going to do is jack the van down and then what I'm going to do is push it out a bit, get the, get the nose of the van out of the garage, and then we can uh, top it with some oil and then. Moment of truth, fingers crossed. Right. Obviously there's going to be a little bit of smoke because obviously the oil that's in the um, in the exhaust and stuff and I've used like cleaner and stuff to clean the, the cat out so it's obviously going to be burning a little bit of smoke. I'll tell you what then wheels and off change the van. So much tidier. There we have it guys. Just going to let it obviously warm up and do what it's got to do. No smoke at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Hopefully this has sorted it. The van is now got up to temperature. So far, so good. I am well happy. I am so relieved. <sighs> yeah, so um, what a weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. Right guys, gonna wrap the video up there for today. There will be another video on the van. We've still got the rear wheels to, to paint. And obviously, remember the, the light, we've still got that to do. Um, and also we've got to give it a good old good old clean because it's an absolute tip in there. So, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
if you did please do give the thumbs up and if you're new do consider to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell notification in the meantime i'm going to be working on this i haven't touched it in a couple of months so obviously to fill the time i'll be doing little bits and that um yeah so until next time guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace